Welcome back to our video series on setting up writing centers in your classroom. This is the fourth video, so make sure that you check out the playlist in the description to see all of them. My name is Rachel Hull, and in this video, we're going to talk about the things you must have at your writing center and some of the things that you don't really need to have, or maybe you can add them later. So let's start with the obvious. We're going to talk about pencils first. Now there are pencils and then there are Ticonderoga pencils. So if you know, you know. So I'm not really that much of a pencil snob, but at my writing center, I need these suckers to write all the time. And so Ticonderoga pencils just really are good quality pencils. They don't break very well. They sharpen evenly. How many times have you sharpened a pencil and it slides off the on the side and like all the wood is around there? You can't, your pencil it just doesn't even work. So we want to take those Ticonderoga pencils and keep them for our writing center. Now, how do you do that? A lot of times um, teachers will have first graders, kindergarten students bring in community supplies. So when I see Ticonderoga pencils, I set them aside and then those will go into my writing center. My students who brought in the pencils still have plenty of pencils to use. I will even use that some from my own stash. I just want to make sure that I have the best quality at my writing centers. Now, if your students don't bring them, you can obviously get them on sale during like back to school time. If you do see, you know, a lot of sales going on. If not, Amazon does have a really big box at a pretty affordable price. I have bought this in the past. If you need a lot of them, um, you know, the description will have the link for you. And really the reason why we want to use the pencils that will hold up is because your students will be breaking a lot of pencils. You know, they, they're trying to develop their fine motor skills. And so you're going to really want to make sure that they have something that they are going to be able to use the whole time at your writing center because you're going to be busy doing something else and you're not going to be able to switch out pencils for them. Now let's talk about crayons. You need crayons, your students are going to be illustrating things. It's very important. You need to stick with the Crayola though, no cheap waxy ones. So you're gonna to wanna to get those Crayola crayons. Now your students will be bringing in their own crayons. It's one thing to take their pencils and set them aside. Uh, it's another thing to take their crayons. These things are like gold to them. So I don't want you to take the crayons that they bring in so you can use them at your writing center. So I'm gonna show you how you can get a bunch for your writing center on the cheap. The first thing, of course, is go to your local big box store, Walmart, Target, um, Meyer, wherever you're able to go and see if they still have them on sale if it's at the beginning of the year. Now, if, if not, there are some on Amazon. I used to get the big boxes with each like 16 or 24 individually. So there's 16 blue, 16 red, 16 green. And I used to meticulously go and spread them out throughout all my work caddies, things like that. And it was, it was a mess. So it, it took too much time. So instead, I found that Amazon does have a really good set of 24 boxes of the 24 crayons. And so all I need to do is just open a box and just dump them right in there uh, whenever they're done. And that's actually very affordable too. So that, inst uh, that link will be in the description as well. Now let's talk about the things that can wait. You obviously need pencils, you obviously need crayons. You don't need um, markers and gel pens and colored pencils right away. If it is something that will uh, em embellish their writing and they know how to use it, absolutely. In another video, I'm going to show you how to teach your students to use these different activities and different kinds of writing tools. But in the meantime, make sure that you um, just set those inside until your, your students are ready. And the same goes with glue and scissors. Uh, there will be some cut and paste activities at your writing center, but if you don't have any right away, don't put your glue and scissors out or your students will think they have to use them. So usually I have a separate work caddy with glue and scissors and the fun stuff. And then when my students are ready, I will put that on, I'll switch out to my work caddies from the plain pencils and the crayons to more of the fun things to do when they're ready. And again, we're going to talk about this in a later video, but here are three questions to ask yourself before you put anything out to see if you know if your students are ready. So the first one is, do your students need to need this to complete the writing activity? If they don't, then don't put it out. It's just going to create confusion and give them one more thing to play with. The second question is, are they ready to use this writing tool the way that they are supposed to correctly? And if they're not, if you haven't shown them how to, don't set it out yet. 
And the third one is more of a proactive thing. What disruptions might this cause? If I have gel pens out there, are they just going to scribble with them and, and not um, and not use them to write? Um, are they going to play with it? Are they going to get out the scissors and glue and just kind of cut and make it, you know, make artwork instead? You know, things like that. I really want you to think through what possible problems you might have. If you can come up with a bunch, maybe it isn't time to put them out yet. Now you might notice that we haven't talked about the actual writing activities yet, and that's because that's in the next video. So make sure you hit that little yellow notification button, and when that video is updated, you'll get a notification.